Hello and welcome back to another one of Paul's Beer Reviews. Today I've got um, a, a beer from uh, Tiny Rebel. And it's a collaboration with uh, Polly's Brew Company, formerly known as uh, Loca Polly. Or Loca Polly, not 100% sure on the pronunciation. So two decent Welsh uh, brewers have come together uh, to make this Pineapple Express IPA. Um, admittedly, I'm about six months behind with this one. <laughs> Um, it's one that pretty much every other beer reviewer has had a go on already. Um, I couldn't find this one in my local Tesco. Every time I went in there to grab it, it wasn't available. Uh, this week, I went in there randomly, and there it was, sitting there proudly on the shelf. So I thought, right, I've got to have a go on this. I've only heard good things about it. So yes, the uh, Pineapple Express IPA coming in at 6.2% ABV. Um, there is the artwork on the can as ever. Tiny Rebel. Loads of details of the artwork loads going on with that really nice really nice really ca eye catching this one um, it's got loads of information but it's all really kind of small uh, no should be a pineapple uh, aroma pale on the eye and a taste of pineapple and grapefruit um, yeah, it says Pineapple Express IPA is a collaboration with our good pals in North Wales. We took the juiciest hops and blended them with fresh pineapple. Um, looking for ingredients. Oh, here we go. Water, malted barley, malted wheat, pineapple juice, hops and yeast. So it's actually got pineapple juice in it, so it should be quite a juicy one. So let's get this Pineapple Express IPA out of its can into a glass. See if it's any good. I've got no bloody nails. I can't get his cans open. There we go. Lovely jubbly. Oh, wow. Big pineapple aroma just from the can. Don't want to give it too an aggressive a pour because I want the whole thing in the glass at the same time. Look at that. There we go. There we go. Boom. Yeah, that is, I think, see it. Yep, there is the Pineapple Express IPA. Really hazy, hazy yellow, and a golden colour. It's got a good solid one finger there of fluffy white head. Um, yeah, that, that looks good. That's a good looking beer. Lovely colour to it. Hazy as you like, you're not seeing anything through that. Let's get a proper aroma on this beer. Loads of pineapple. Pineapple, grapefruit. Really has a nice tropical aroma to it. It's lovely, really nice, nice, nice and juicy. Not getting much else on it. Loads of pineapple. Loads of pineapple. Loads of grapefruit. Let's get a taste. Cheers, guys. Oh. 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 Oh, oh that's lovely. <laughs> wow. That's really good. Let's put a smile on my face. God, dear. So much pineapple on that. So much pineapple. Yet at the same time, it's not it's not overly sweet. There's a nice um, there's a nice kind of biscuity malt to it as well, and there's a nice use of hops at the back end. There's a nice subtle bitterness at the end with this one. <sighs> That's lovely. That's really good. As soon as you hit your tongue, you really get pineapple. Really get pineapple. There's a lot of beers where you get notes of pineapple or a touch of pineapple, like a subtle influence of pineapple with it. It's a lot of a lot of IPAs, especially kind of New England IPAs, East Coast IPAs. I I personally find a pineapple touch to a lot of them, um, but they they always tend to play second fiddle to the grapefruit. It's the other way around with this one. Uh, as soon as I kind of, as soon as the beer hits my tongue, I get a, a big pineapple juice flavour on my tongue. 
and then the grapefruit comes. And uh, I say it's a big pineapple fruit flavour. It is, but it's not overpowering. It's not overly sweet. Um, despite there being a big pineapple presence, which, let's have it right, pineapple juice is quite a strong flavour. It's a, a real juice bomb of a fruit, you know. Um, despite that, it, it kind of... The, the beer blends really nicely. It's not over the top. It's a lovely... It's a lovely blend of fruit, malt and hops. They've nailed this. They have nailed this perfectly. They've absolutely got this on the head. It's wonderful. Absolutely brilliant. There's that pineapple juice. And there's a grapefruit influence. Oh, nice biscuity malt. And then there's a little bit of hops there, just towards the back of the palate. Oh, that is lovely. That is such a good beer. Such a good beer. That's cracking. That's right up my street. That's brilliant. Oh, and it's so drinkable as well. There's... um. It doesn't say anything about there being, I don't think there's any lactose or anything in it. No. Nothing about lactose or anything there. But there's a, a smoothness to it. There's a kind of a, a velvety, uh, a velvety kind of nature to this beer. It, it kind of wraps itself around your palate. It's not watery. Um... It is kind of it's bordering on medium bodied. There's there's a good flavour to it. There's a good mouthfeel to it. You know, it's not like a watery. Uh, it's not a watery beer. It's it's not a lager or anything like that. It, there's a thickness to it. There's a creaminess to it. There's a velvetiness to it that kind of wraps itself around the palate. Uh, it's quite. It's kind of oaty. Kind of like an oat character to it. But I don't think there's any oats or anything in it either. It doesn't say anything about oats. Um, but there's a creamy nature to it. It has a lovely texture, a lovely body to it. So much flavour with it. Again, it's oh yeah, love it, love it. Absolutely adore that. Absolutely adore that. That's wonderful. I don't know what else to say about that. Fantastic. Pineapple, grapefruit. Nice kind of biscuity malt in the middle. Really good juice of the hops. Got a nice subtle bitterness at the back end. And it's a beautifully balanced IPA. It's lovely. It is reminiscent of a, of an East Coast IPA. Um, but with just more focus on the pineapple side of things. And it, it's beautifully done. That's a, a wonderful, wonderful collaboration between Tiny Rebel and Polly's Brew. That really is a cracking beer. It ticks all the boxes for me. Um, if you're not a fan of pineapple juice, you probably won't like this too much. But if you are, and if you haven't had it already, which you probably have, let's be honest, that's a wonderful beer. That really is a cracking beer. I love that. Um, I have to give that a 10 out of 10. I have to. I think that's bang on. Absolutely bang on. And I can't stop drinking it. Every mouthful, every taste, every bit of this I'm having is putting a smile on my face. My my all my taste buds are going mad. It's brilliant. All my taste buds are doing big green ticks at the moment. It's like, yep, yep, that's cracking. We like that. We like that. That's a really good beer. Absolutely fantastic. Ten out of ten. Tiny Rebel, Polly's Brew, Pineapple Express, IPA. Finally got my hands on it. Um I'm gonna have to go back there and get a few more of those. I can uh, I could definitely uh drink quite a few of those. Six point two percent ABV by the way. Um you're not getting any of that. You're not really getting any of your 6.2%. That's kind of tastes like a 5% out of push, if I'm honest. So a bit dangerous in that sense because it's very drinkable. 440 mil can, £3 in Tesco's. That is the best beer I've had from Tesco. That is the best. Um, but I've had some good ones. The Cloudwater and uh, Brewdog New England IPA collaboration was decent. The Vocation uh, Magic Rock. 
Uh, West Coast IPA was a very good collab as well. That was a good beer from Tesco. And um, what else have I had from there that was decent? Brooklyn's Defender IPA was fantastic, but a lot of the other supermarkets are selling that one as well now. Um, but yeah, this is um, the best Tesco exclusive that I've I've had so far. That's that's wonderful. 10 out of 10. I'm waffling now, sorry. 10 out of 10 for this. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, guys. Uh, I do appreciate it. Thank you to those who subscribed. And uh, if you haven't, please keep subscribing. And until the next one, you take care.